Our planet is full of lustrous sights, from simple rainbows to the magnificent northern lights. The colours we see each day satisfy our desire for beauty. But what about the other species on our planet? Do they see the same colours we do? Is their planet as beautiful as ours? To figure this out, we have to look at the eye itself. No matter whether we're looking at them or not, all objects produce wavelengths of light. We perceive colour from these wavelengths of light by special cells in our retinas called photoreceptors. Photoreceptors are split into two types of cells, rod cells and cone cells. But we don't really care about the rod cells because the cone cells are the ones that control colour. Most people have and use three types of cone cells, red, green and blue. These are called additive colours. We say most people because some humans can't use all three. Some people have one or more defective coin cells and are commonly referred to as colourblind. Dogs and cats are exactly like people with defective coin cells. But rather than one not working, these animals are missing a few. Specifically, dogs have replaced green and red coin cells with a yellow coin cell. Yeah, so all animals have three or less cone cells. Uh, no. The mantis shrimp is just one exotic example of an animal with a large range of cone cells. Known for having the fastest punch in the world, which, by the way, could throw a baseball into orbit. This crustacean has 12 cone cells and that's not even the record. The common blue bottle butterfly has a whopping 15 types of cone cells, including one that allows it to see in ultraviolet. In fact, most insects can see in ultraviolet. Also, snakes can see in infrared, which means they can literally see heat. These animals with more types of cone cells than us lowly humans can perceive colours that we cannot even begin to imagine. It's lucky that we can see colour at all, because at the end of the day, no matter how many cone cells you have, no matter if you can see in ultraviolet or infrared, colour is still only a perception. Our response to wavelengths of light bouncing about around us. That leaves us with the inescapable conclusion that there, there is, is no, no colour. colour.